Well, holy cow. How you guys doing? I don't think I've done one of these uh, video vlog, video blogs or vlog in uh, probably since October, maybe November, maybe around Thanksgiving. I don't even know. Uh, but hey, guys, welcome back. Well, I should say, you know, me. I mean, hi, how you doing? Uh, <laughs> um, tons of stuff to really cover. I'm going to try to keep this limited. I'm going to try not to just speak ramble, blah, blah, blah stuff. But uh, I know I'm going to do it anyway. It's just That's just my nature, just who I am. I love to talk. I'm a talker. But um, anyway, guys, it's great to be back. I'm glad you guys um, are watching this. Um, all probably six of you that are watching. So I do appreciate you guys uh, taking the time to watch this. Um, oh, man, oh, man, it has been it has been rough. Oh, this is all going to be just completely live. You know, before I would actually do like cut, take, this, that, blah, 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 you know. This is going to be all raw, you know, so if I screw something up, I screw it up. Call it a day, end of story. That's kind of the fun thing about having a video camera, although it can be kind of naughty too. But anyway, um, just got off a seven-week tour. Um, I should say a seven-week leg of the tour, uh, the Get Ball Tour. And let me just tell you, amazing, amazing. We've gone from Kansas City, we've gone to Orlando, we've gone to Salt Lake City, we've gone to Emerald City in Seattle, we've gone to uh, St. Louis, we've been everywhere. I shouldn't say everywhere, we only went to seven states out of 50, but we went to a lot of states and we drive to all these cities, we drive to all these states and it is one hell of a beautiful country. Uh, I know I said it before, but I mean, in all honesty, driving to Salt Lake, um, a lot of boring parts, a lot of kind of just, you know, Flat land, or I shouldn't say flat, it was like this. You know, just a lot of land, but um, beautiful country. Actually, kind of relaxing. You know, I think we were both almost kind of sleeping in the car. Not sleeping in the car, but we were kind of just sleeping, uh, like, uh, like just kind of relaxing. Not like now, where I'm just kind of rambling stuff on, you know, left and right. But um, we had a lot of fun. And uh, within that seven weeks, you know, like I said, we went to all those different conventions. And we were only home for those seven weeks for like three days. Uh, we got home from a convention on, on a Monday. We left on a Thursday, so maybe two days. Not a lot of time to get anything done. Within that seven weeks, uh, we had a, we had some orders, you know, some print orders. So if anybody is waiting for any print orders, trust me, trust me, trust me, they are coming. We sent a lot of them out already this week. We've got a lot more to send out over the weekend and for next week. So we should all be done, and we will be caught up uh, by next week, Monday, Tuesday, with all the different prints that we have to send out. And with that being said, um, thankful to you guys. I want to say thank you to every single person. Uh, but everybody who brought up and has me doing a commission for them, I have accumulated over 150 in, uh, um, coloring commissions in just really about four weeks. That is amazing. Um, I got a little bit from C2E2. I got a little bit from the past couple of shows. I wasn't pushing them as much because I have to get all the other ones done from the previous shows uh, starting out in Kansas City. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. If you can't hear me, I do apologize. I'm trying to like, keep my voice up, but it's uh, I'm losing my voice very, very, very fast. So, sorry if you can't hear me. I'll try to talk a little bit better and slower and where you guys can understand me. Um, but uh, over 150 commissions. I mean, that is just amazing. And like I said, in just four weeks... That's, oh my God, thank you so much to everybody out there. And I am working on them. We're back for the next couple of weeks. I actually had to cancel the convention, which was this upcoming weekend. I had to cancel that show because there's so much work that has to get done. I got a book dropping in a couple of weeks, uh, Urban Legends number two, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, plus all these commissions, I got to make sure I get you guys taken care of. You know, So I, I canceled that show so I can work on the commissions and I can get the book done. Um, everything in time so you guys aren't waiting 400 years you know for all the commissions and everything or you know, for issue two of urban legends I don't want that to happen either so um, they are going out I got a lot done already uh, like between this week and next week we're gonna have a lot out to you so uh, be prepared for the emails for the people who are waiting because they're coming so <laughs> trust me um, so anyway um, Got all that, I mean, got all that over the just the past seven weeks, which was, was just phenomenal. Last week, Wednesday, you guys have probably already seen this. You saw my Facebook page. I recently got married. Actually, it was last week, Wednesday. And very, very happy to announce that uh, both Brandon and I, my uh, my life partner, um, 
now I'm going to call my husband, um, that both of us are just very, very happy. We're very excited. You know, we waited 14 years for this. Some people wait longer, you know, but we waited 14 years for this opportunity to finally happen where we can get married. And, uh, well, here it is. So I'm, uh, yeah. At C2E2 this past weekend, there was uh, there was a, a young man, 18, 19-ish, right in that area, uh, who came up to me on Friday. And this was actually very touching. It, it really touched me after he left because I'm like, wow, I mean, I, it was just processing. He comes up to me and he tells me, he says, you know, as a gay man and as a, as a gay artist, you know, he grew up in a Christian family, you know, Christian beliefs and all this. And um, it's definitely not recognized in his, with his family. His family just doesn't, lo you know, he feels his family doesn't love him. And uh, he's telling me like more and more information. And um, <clears throat> he says, as a gay man and as a gay artist, you know, I, I look up to you because you came out. You came out on Facebook. You came out everywhere. And you, you, you got married and you're, you're, you know, legally married, you know, everywhere in the country. Well, where it is legal. And he was really inspired by me to get out there and do the same things. He went out with a lot more. I mean, it, it was a little more touching, a little more personable than that, but pretty much in a whole, that's what was said. And that just, that touched my heart. You know, it really touched my heart. I didn't even know what to say to him. I was just like, oh my God. You know, so I got up, I went around, gave him the biggest hug. He gave, actually, he gave me the biggest hug, you know, and it was just like, oh my God. I mean, that was just very heart throbbing. So if you're watching, um, thank you very much again. I, I, I really appreciate that. And you know, I gave him my other email. Please don't hesitate. If you need to use it, use it. I'm here for as much as I possibly can be, uh, at least an ear, you know, at the most. So thank you so much. Um, Oh, so just so much going on, you know, just a, a lot of awesomeness in the past seven weeks. And uh, with, like I said, getting married and all the commissions and uh, doing all the driving and never not, not even being home. Um, just a lot, it kind of starts wearing on you after a while. So actually canceling this weekend was not a bad idea. Uh, but at the same time, I'm going to be actually going on Saturday to free comic book day in Schaumburg. I'm out in Schaumburg, Illinois. I'm going to be at the uh, Dreamland Comics, both Brandon and I, since we're both the creators of Urban Legends. And um, we're taking out a, a new business venture, both he and I, not just as um, husbands, but also as a business um, of starting our own stories and hopefully very soon our own production company. So the first book is actually this one here. You probably have already seen it. I've been posting it like crazy. Uh, I've had it at the past few shows, but it's Urban Legends. Uh, this is cover A. We have four different covers. Uh, so this one is cover A. This is the uh, the more I guess I don't want to, I guess the regular cover is what they call it. Um, <clears throat> we've only got about grand total like uh, just under 15. I think we had like 12 or 13, maybe up to 15 of those available, and then that's it. Then we go into reprint uh, if we have to. So I'm very excited about that. This one is cover B. This is the art gallery variant. You probably really can't see it that well with the gloss or with the glare there, so I do apologize. But you can always check them on my website. So they're, they're there and on my Facebook pages. Um, so anyways, uh, this is cover B. This is limited to 100 copies. This is all actually painted. So uh, none of this is necessarily drawn out and then colored. This is all paint. And I'll get into the artist in just one second. This one here is cover C, the Megacon exclusive. And uh, Urban Legends debuted at Megacon roughly, I think it was about six weeks ago. Uh, going on seven weeks ago, maybe this week or next, but uh, so this one is limited to only 50 copies, and I think we've only got about five of these left approximately. And then one more cover, the last and final cover, this one. The C2E2 exclusive, which was actually this past weekend. There's only 25 of these available. Uh, we don't have 25. I know that for sure. I don't know exactly how many we have, but um, definitely if you guys want to order any, go to my website, www.jbalkiesart.com. You can also see that on my Facebook page, too, and on the fan page. And Urban Legend also has, Urban Legends, the comic book, also has a group on Facebook. So just type in Urban Legend comic book and hit it just like it or join or something whatever it says with groups um that's where you're gonna learn about everything about urban legends everything uh, the things that are in the books um just so i'm not keeping it all necessarily on just my fan page uh because i'm going to kind of separate them we're going to try to separate things out so you're not seeing the same thing ten thousand times um 
But yeah, go and uh, join the group. That's awesome. If you haven't joined my fan page, join the fan page. That'd be great. I know some of you are probably watching this on my fan page. But um, issue two is coming out actually very soon. And uh, before I get onto that, uh, real quick, issue one, what we did is we took artists who have never worked in the industry before and we put them to work. The reason why we did that is because we wanted, we want to introduce more people to art. There's a lot of talented artists out there, um, artists in general, uh, that could be writing, photography, whatever. There's a lot of talented people out there who just aren't getting the recognition that they deserve. So we took some of the ones, a few of the ones that we think deserve, and we gave them a shot. And you know what? They are killing it. They are doing a phenomenal job. We actually, for issue two coming out, uh, we actually hired another colorist who's going to be the artist of another series that we're going to be working on coming out next, uh, early next year. So we got a lot of really cool things going on with our company, and like we're moving things around, and uh, we're also looking for people to help us out as well too. Uh, not just artists, but like, you know, um, I don't want to say management, but, you know, like people that take on those roles, like a publicist and all that kind of jazz. So um, a lot of cool things going on, a lot of really cool things. And um, I'm going to go on with like more uh, more of a vlog later on, uh, but nothing but Urban Legend stuff, which I'll talk to you more about the artist then as well. But a lot of really cool things, guys. And again, I just want to say thank you to everybody who hit like about me being married, about getting married to Brandon. Um, everyone who hit, just everybody in general, I just want to say thank you to. Because uh, again, without you guys, I wouldn't be here, you know. So uh, I just want to say thank you to every single person out there who supports and who's a fan. I love you guys. I really do. And um, hopefully I can keep it up. Hopefully I have more and better things are going to come out of me uh, in the near future with all this stuff going on. But, uh, again, keep in mind, I've got uh, I've got the commissions coming out to you guys very soon. So if anyone's waiting, they are coming. I do promise I'm going to bust out, if not all of them, uh, this uh, next, next couple of weeks. So be on the lookout. All right, and I'll be at Schaumburg. Uh, like I said, I'll be at Schaumburg uh, Dreamland Comics this Saturday from 11 to 2. Brandon and I are both going to be there. We're going to have a free comic book that we're giving away of Urban Legends that both of us are going to sign as well, too. So please, come on in. I'm going to have some other books I worked on there as well. Um, come on in and check it out. Plus, there's a lot of really cool books out uh, this year. I saw a few of them on a free comic book day flyer, so it uh, looks pretty good. All right, guys, take it easy. I hope to talk to you soon. And uh, if I don't see you at a convention or this weekend, I will definitely be seeing you soon uh, on your TV. Well, not your TV, but, you know, your screen. All right, anyway, you know what I mean. I'm a little tired. <laughs> take it easy, guys. Bye.